Hi, today I'll be making a card using some supplies from Summer Surprise Bundle by Spellbinders. This bundle is a chance to get $180 worth products for just $45. So first I'll show you what's in the box and then we'll make a project. So here are the products that are included. I will start with the dies. This set is uh, Blossom Tags and Accents. The next one is called Perfect, and uh, this one also includes a sentiment stamp. The next set is Stack and Fan Flowers. Here you can see how it actually looks like on a project. That's very convenient. The next one is Renaissance Tags 2. That's a big set. This large background die is called Wagon Wheel. It measures 3 by 6 inches. The next one is My Sunshine, and this one is four and a quarter by five and a half. Now there are also two smaller sets. One of them is Stylized Flower, and another one is Filigree Vase. There's also a stamp set included. It's called Birthday Balloons. And there is also five by seven embossing folder that is called Horse Hair. That's a very nice burlap texture. And uh, there are also some uh, dimensional embellishments, like those metal plates and these uh, crowns and wreaths. So there are eight dice, one stamp set, one folder and some embellishments. And now let's move on to the project. So I want to make a top folding 5 by 7 card base, but the piece of cardstock that I'm using is not large enough, so I'm going to create a hinge. Here I have two pieces of cardstock and one of them is slightly larger than 5 by 7. It's about half an inch longer. So I'm scoring it at half an inch mark, applying some adhesive, and then I'm sticking uh, both pieces together to create one entire card base. I'll go with my favorite color combo again, and uh, that is the combination of ultra white and off white. I don't know if it, if it can be called a color combo, but that's what I like. I'll be using the three largest dies from 5x7 Metin Basics B set. It's not included in the kit, but it's um, something that I'm using all the time. So I will use the die number 2 to cut out a panel out of vellum. I'm placing the panel inside the folder from the bundle, then I'm sending it through the machine and the pattern you get is actually double-sided. You can use either one side of it or another, and this is what it looks like. I'm particularly happy about this folder because I like natural textures like bricks or wood grain, and now I also have burlap. So I'm applying some double-sided tape to the edges of the panel and I'm centering it on my card front. So this is my background and now I'm also going to create a dimensional frame for the card. So I'm going to use the dies number one and number three and I'm using an ultra wide cardstock. And this is going to create a frame that is uh, half an inch thick. Then I'm going to use the dice number 2 and number 3 to create another frame, and this one is going to be one quarter of an inch thick. So here you can see that both frames are the same size on the inside, but uh, the different size on the outside. I'm also going to create a delicate lacy border, and I'll be using this wagon wheel background die for this. I've die cut the image out of white cardstock and now I'm clearing out all the negative pieces. I will have all the tools and supplies listed on my blog and in the description. Then I'm going to attach this decorative border to the smaller frame. So I have applied some double-sided adhesive at the wrong side and now I'm positioning this border at about one-third from the edge of the frame. And then I'm going to use my paper trimmer to trim off everything that hangs off the outside edge of the frame. 
So this is what my project looks like at the moment. And now I'm going to assemble the frame. So I am foam mounting the larger frame onto the card front first. I'm pressing it down to stick and then I'm going to position the second smaller frame on top of the first one. And again, I'm using the foam adhesive. It is this double layers of foam and uh, foam adhesive that is going to make my card look like a shadow box. The next image I'm using is filigree vase. I've die cut the background out of ivory cardstock and I've die cut the filigree one out of white cardstock. And then I'm going to use some liquid glue to attach the lacy one on top of the plain one. I'm going to embellish this vase with a DIY charm. So to make it, I will need a pearl teardrop bead and uh, the head pin. So I'm inserting the pin into the bead and then I'm using round nose pliers to create the loop at the top. I keep shaping it until I'm happy with the result and then I'm going to add a jump ring to the charm. I'm feeding a piece of twine through the jump ring and then I'm using some hot glue to secure both ends of the twine at the wrong side of the vase. And then I'm going to trim off the excess twine. I'll be using stylized flower die set to create my bouquet. I've die cut the images out of white cardstock, then I'm placing them back into the dies to stencil through them. And the ink I'm using is Antique Linen Distress Oxide. Here you can see I've die cut all the images, but uh, I will not be using the largest flower. I am arranging the flowers on the card front to find uh, just where I want them to be. Then I'm sticking the vellum leaf behind the vase, applying more adhesive to the vase and um, just pressing it to the flowers. And this way I can transfer the flowers from the card front to the vase. Then I'm going to add more adhesive behind the flowers just to secure them in their place. So this is how I made the flower arrangement and uh, all there is left to do is to trim off the vase from the bottom. It's just because I want it to look a bit smaller on the card front, like that. I'm going to attach the flowers to the card front with the pop dots. Those pop dots are actually the leftovers from June Card Kit by Spellbinders and they are extra thick. You can also use a double layer of foam squares to attach this image. The card is nearly finished. All there is left to do is attach the pearl embellishment and actually I'm going to add a lot. I'm going to apply some liquid glue in the center of each stylized flower in this background strip and then I'm using crystal katana pickup tool to place a small half pearl on top of each drop of glue. This tool is very convenient because it can be manipulated with just one hand. I have also placed some small pearls onto the flowers and now I'm adding the larger ones on top of each of the berries. That finishes my project for today. I really hope you enjoyed and you found some ideas interesting. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.